going on everybody it's your girl bubbles and welcome back to another military monday around week two shout out to your girl for being consistent <laughs> anyways in today's video like you guys can tell by the title we're going to be discussing what to and not to pack for basic training and also the hairstyles i flipped my braids but my you so okay y'all let's start off you so, my braids are way too long to be out of a bun but since I'm just doing this video, I didn't put my hair in a bun. I just pulled it back, you know. So my hair is not in rags, lengthwise. So don't be like me. But anyways, like I said, we're going to start off with what to. Actually, no. We're going to start with the negative stuff. Because y'all get eager and feel like y'all got to take all this stuff. So let me just pump your brakes before you get too excited. What not to bring. First thing, perfume, body spray. Any type of smell good where you think you about to be cute for to get all these drill signs attention don't bring it they're gonna have a trash can and you're just gonna be like whoop shooting all that stuff in there you're not gonna get a pass reception so save yourself your money save yourself your coupons bath and body works all that good stuff victoria's secret keep that stuff at home you're not gonna need it next thing since we're on the wave of being cute makeup lip gloss eyeliner mascara any of that stuff do not bring it. One, they're gonna see it, so you're gonna have to throw it away. But two, if they catch you with it on. Next thing, contraband. Contraband covers a lot of stuff, but my main thing when I heard contraband was mostly like food, because that's what you get in trouble for. So food is in like candy, gum, chips, mints, anything of that sort that has to do with like eating something, don't bring it, because you're gonna have to throw that stuff away too. You can bring it for the flight and all that stuff, but just know as soon as you get to reception, all that's gonna go on the basura, okay? Next thing, electronics. These little things. Your phone, of course, you have to take with you because it's your phone, but it is gonna get locked up into like a little bin. You won't get that back to the end of basic training or until white phase or blue phase when you start getting phone calls and you'll be able to turn it on for a couple minutes on a weekend, make your phone calls to whoever you want and then right back into that box it goes. I don't even think they had time for people to charge their phone. So if you do go to basic, have your phone charged so that when you do have your phone, your, uh, so that when you do have your first phone call, your phone's not dead. You know what I mean? Next, civilian clothes. I only took one pair of civilian clothes, which was the clothes that I was wearing. You do not need civilian clothes in basic training. You do not have, you have one day that's like, oh, what was that day called? I don't remember, I think it was gold phase. No, that's that's AIT. I don't remember what the day is, but today you graduate from basic training. You get to go out with your family, go eat and do all that stuff. But we were still in uniform when we went to do that. I don't remember one day that we were allowed to be in civilians. Even when we got transported to AIT, we were still in our military gear. So I don't recommend taking any civilian clothes. That's just more stuff that you're gonna have to lug around because you're gonna have to carry so many bags. Your civilian bag, your two duffel bags, and then uh, there's something else you have to carry. There's just a lot of stuff you're gonna have to carry and just save yourself more weight because you're literally gonna have to carry all that stuff. Nobody's gonna carry it for you. So packing four or five, six outfits, two, three pairs of clothes and shoes and don't do it. You're gonna be dreading it when you get there, trust me. Another thing, when it comes to clothing, your bras and your underwear, make sure they're neutral colors. I'm talking black, white, brown, nude, Stuff like that. Don't come to basic training with no da 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 da. Cause you're gonna have to end up, you know, and people will snitch on you. The girls in the bay, if they see you got baddie underwear, they're about to be like, Jill Sergeant, um, she has a thong and she's wearing it. Like, y'all are gonna believe me, but this, the bays and basic training with these girls. I started off with like, I think it was like 40 something girls on our bay. When we graduated, there was only like 18 of us. Very cutthroat. And it wasn't just because the underwear, but a lot of females don't make it through basic training and that it, it is what it is. So don't give any of these girls a reason to get you in trouble to where you have to like be the one standing out because Joe Sarnes are just looking for the people like, okay, which one of these girls is, is, is gonna try to be the hard one? Which one of these girls is gonna be the little prissy one? Which one of these girls is like, you know what I mean? Just do what you gotta do, pack what you gotta pack, I wore granny panties the entire time I was in basic training. Literally every single day I had granny panties on. I honestly, confession, I still wear granny panties to work because it's comfortable. Like nobody wants to be wearing, like even boy shorts. Do not wear boy shorts. I'm talking granny panties when they cover your whole booty. Like save yourself. They're gonna look through your clothes or you have to do layouts. They're gonna see everything. So anything you try to sneak in and stuff, if you do bring stuff that's not allowed, they're gonna make you put it in that bath, that box or that 
container that has all your stability and stuff. So you're not gonna sneak and get past anybody. Next thing is jewelry. I am authorized to wear earrings in uniform. Um, I didn't put them on, like I said, just for the cause of this video. I don't have work today. But you are allowed to wear jewelry, but for basic training, I'm pretty sure they're gonna make you take them out for multiple reasons. Basic training is tough. It is very physical, it's very crawling in dirt and being very hands-on. So if you guys do happen to get an injury because your earrings pokes you in the back, flies out, pokes somebody in their eye or something, and the drill sergeants aren't gonna be the ones that are gonna wanna take responsibility for something like that, so they're gonna probably just tell you off rip, just take it out. So I wouldn't even bring it. You don't wanna lose your stuff. If you do bring it, like I said, keep it in your backpack. It's gonna get stored away, but you're not gonna see that thing for months. And by the time you get to AIT, you're gonna be able to have like way more liberty. You're probably gonna end up buying more anyway. So, if I were you, just would not bring it. Lastly, the only other thing that I can think of of not to bring would be like straighteners, curlers, um, any of that stuff that's extra that has to do with your hair. Um, Cause you're not gonna be able to use it. No, you're not even gonna have time. You're not even gonna wanna use it because there's just so much going on and every minute that you have to rest and just like relax, you're gonna take advantage of. I don't know anybody at basic training while I was there that was trying to be cute. All of us were, of course in the beginning you're all shy and you're like, oh I don't, you know, I don't know this person. Once you're like a couple weeks in, everybody gets to know you, they see you got personality or something, it becomes a lot, a lot easier and you're kind of just like, yo, but these people like me, they like me. I was like busted in, in basic training and I was still pulling dudes. Like, and it's not even like, I don't know cocky stuff, y'all. But like dudes were like, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. I wanna like, like, yo, I'm trying to talk to her, blah, blah, blah. And I had straight back cornrows, like straight back just into a, a bun. Like my bun was like this big, cause it was just my natural hair. I didn't have no fake hair in it. But that is probably the most recommended hairstyle that I would recommend to y'all. But I'll get back to that hairstyle stuff later on in the video because we're still talking about with two packs. So yeah, no straighteners, no curlers, no, uh, rod, rod, what is it, rod sticks or whatever. Leave all that stuff at home, you're not gonna need it. That is a do not bring list. Hopefully I covered everything. Now, what to bring? I'm saying this first because I feel like this is the most important thing that you can bring, is your paperwork. I'm talking birth certificates, IDs, passports, marriage certificates, social security cards, Everything that you would need to survive in life, as far as paperwork and identifying yourself, bring all of that to basic training. There were so many people that got stuck in reception because they didn't have their marriage certificate. Like they cannot process you in, have your money right, have everything settled if all your stuff is all over the place. So that is very important. That will get you held back, slow down the process, make you stay there longer. Show up with everything that you need to show up with and just get out of reception. Because once you get out of there, you're onto the real shit. And that's like, it's scary, but that's, it's, I had fun in basic. I had a lot of fun. Don't forget your paperwork. Another thing I did not even think of needing while I was in basic training is stamps. If you're going to be writing people, hopefully everybody writes somebody, bring stamps. There is a store that you're, they're, they're gonna take you guys to to get like, like are your personal hygiene and stuff like that, but I don't know how much stamps cost there. It's been a while since I've been in basic. It's been like three years. So I can't really remember, but I did end up buying some stamps once I got there. Um, I don't know how long it is for you to go to the store. I know you have like a general, as soon as you get there, they give you like a card with like $300 on it. It's your money. They just put on a card for the for their shop bet and all that. And you get all your stuff. I didn't even remember to think to get stamps when I had went just because I was like, okay, I wasn't planning on writing anybody. I wasn't, I was just trying to get the hell out of that place, you know? So stamps is very important. Another thing that you're gonna need that I recommend getting while you guys are at the store or bring it there with you is a watch. I don't have a watch right now. I have an Apple watch now. When I was in basic, I had another watch. Do not bring an Apple watch. Don't bring a Michael Kors watch. Don't bring no Gucci Prada crazy watch because honestly, you guys, this watch is gonna go through death. And time in the military is everything. You guys are gonna learn that very quickly once you get to basic training. Everything is precise, everything's on the dot. And actually, if you're there on time, you're actually late. You have to show up usually 10 minutes prior to everything. So having a watch, I slept with my watch, showered with my watch, everything with my watch. I bought it at the shop at there when I got all my personal hygiene stuff. So make sure you guys have a watch. And if you don't have one, you're gonna be asking people a lot. Hey, what time is it? Hey, what time is it? You just don't wanna be that person not knowing what time it is, if that makes sense. Next thing, razors. Now, Reason why I say razors, males, y'all are gonna have to shave all the time. No hair on your face whatsoever. Females, 
we get to go a good couple weeks. Because of basic training, shaving for some reason is a privilege. It's a, a, a gift, it's a reward for behaving yourself, I guess. I don't know, guys. My legs were so hairy. Like, every time we sat down at formation, all of us girls' legs, hairy. They take your razors away in the beginning. Like, during red phase, there's no luxury. You don't get to shave your armpits, you don't get to shave your legs, you don't get to shave your kitty cat. You just out there living life natural as hell. You know what I mean? And hey, I didn't even care. I, like I said, I wasn't out there trying to impress nobody. I was just trying to finish and do what I got to do so I can get out of there. So bring razors. They're going to take them from you, but then they are going to give them back to you. Probably white phase. I don't remember if it was white phase or blue phase, but I know for sure white phase. Um, I mean, blue phase, they let you shave. So if you take razors, have them like good razors because ones that they shell, they shell. <laughs> the ones that they sell at the shop at, are cheap it's like those pink ones and like for me at least it gives me anger on hairs i don't even like shaving i usually get wax so yeah bring razors another thing because it's especially no if you're during if you're there during summer or winter bring some chapstick because your lips are about to be like there's no amount of licking your lips that's gonna save your mouth like the yelling, the sun, the heat, the cold, your lips are gonna crack, they're gonna bleed, they're gonna hurt, they're gonna be uncomfortable. Get some chapstick. That sounds like such an easy thing. I'm like obsessed with chapstick. I don't know if I was like this before basic training, but now like, y'all, I don't think I'm lying. I don't have chapstick, this is lip gloss. I can wear lip gloss now that I'm in like the real army, but I always have something for my lips on me at all times because I just, I can't like, no. Next, personal hygiene stuff. Females, tampons, pads, whatever stuff you need for that time of the month, have it. Deodorant, males and females, toothbrush, toothpaste, all that good stuff. Anything you guys do forget, like I said, you will be able to buy it there at the shop at area, but I'd rather buy it before because you're just saving money. That way you have it and it's just less stuff you gotta carry and less stuff you gotta worry about. So make sure you guys have all your personal hygiene stuff as well. Next thing is sneakers. Make sure you guys have tennis shoes. Not no crazy high top that like y'all are about to be doing PT in the morning, 0, 0630 every day. You're gonna be crawling, you're gonna be running, you're gonna be jumping, you're gonna be getting in dirt. Like don't get no shoes that you're gonna be upset that they get creases or they get dirty or they start smelling a little bit. Like these are gonna be shoes that right after basic training, tossing. Or right after AIT, you're tossing. Like, these are not no forever shoes. So don't worry about trying to be cute and fit in and wear like the most newest brands because honestly nobody cares in basic training. And you're probably just gonna get roasted by the drill sergeants because they're just gonna think like, oh, you, oh, you, you think you're cool. That's why you got these shoes, right? And they're probably gonna make you buy a new pair anyways just because they know you're gonna jack your shoes up. So save yourself the time, the money, and the embarrassment and just get some regular sneakers. Last but not least, black socks. And I say that because with our PT uniform, you are allowed to wear black socks. I personally don't like to wear white socks because it's very flashy and it just like, I don't know, to me it just looks weird. So black socks for PT, it can be ankle socks. I wear longer socks, just me. I just feel more comfortable when I run and stuff like that. I talk with my hands a lot. Like, girl, come down. Anyways, yeah, black socks. And I think that's all I have as far as the to bring list. If I forgot anything, drop down in the comments, but I'm pretty sure I covered everything. Now, to the hair guys girls this is mostly for females um men they usually shave your guys' head bald so sorry not sorry but y'all can't really and once it starts growing back and getting it cut again so that's y'all's hair situation for us females ladies y'all see these braids i got in my hair okay these braids are authorized at basic training I do not recommend these braids for basic training though because basic training is death. You will roll around in dirt, you will crawl, you will sweat, you will, you have no way to wash your hair properly. You have no way to upkeep these braids. You can't order fake extensions to touch up the front. You can't do any of that. If your hair starts growing out, your braids start getting loose, you don't have time and hours to be taking down box braids. You have to pay somebody to help you and then once they're all out, you're gonna have to do something with your hair. You can't have a fro out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just read all the styles to you guys that I recommend not having and then tell you guys what I do recommend y'all having. So, box braids, like this, micro braids, do not have those. No feed-ins. Reason why I say feed-ins is because it does have fake hair in it still. 
all that fake hair stuff, you're gonna get so dirty, you guys. Oh my God, I can't even, you're gonna be so dirty and sweating so much, that hair is about to be smelling ripe, like so ripe. Weaves, sew-ins, frontals, closures, all that stuff, you're gonna look crazy. Like, you're gonna look more crazy having a frontal that's lifted and smelly and just outgrown and leave out that's all poofy because you don't have no straightener or curlers so you can't fix your leave out. You just gotta be looking a mess. And every and people are gonna be talking about you. You're gonna be stinking. Like, you know, when you stand, y'all ever some, stood next to somebody that scalp be stinking because they got a weave in or braids in that been in too long? And you're just like, especially when it's wet or when y'all are sweating. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Cause I've been that person before. Like when I first got embraced for the first time, I didn't know. And I was like, damn girl, like this starts this start smelling after a while. Cause you can't wash your hair. So do not, I repeat, do not do any of those hairstyles. If it was me, I would not do that. I would recommend your natural hair, just natural hair. Be able to slick it back. Make sure you bring the gel that you need. If you, that's what you want to do. I personally don't like gel. I don't like, cause I'm not washing my hair every day to rinse the gel out. My hair never lays flat in order for my PC to put on. Like whenever I have my natural hair, it's just not a good idea. Whenever I have my natural hair, I either have it twisted and then I French braid it back or I just wear like my natural, like when I went to basic training, it was my natural, it was like feed ins straight back, but just with my natural hair. My natural hair went into a small ponytail like this and I rocked that for a good, all through red phase, I know for sure. Once I got to white phase, I took them out. I was able to wash my hair. Actually, I'm lying. I never completely took my braids out all the way in basic training. What I did was I took them, um, when they were outgrowing, I would wash my hair with the braids in, get my scalp and get everything, rinse it out. And then I would one by one redo the braid. So if I was braiding my hair and I had like three or four done, and then randomly a drill sergeant came in and said, everybody downstairs, everybody downstairs. My hair is still braided. These are just outgrown and these are done. But if you take all your hair out at once, you don't have time. If you have three braids, then what the hell are you gonna do with the rest of your hair? You know what I mean? So don't set yourself up for failure. Use that trick if you guys do do regular braid, uh, like straight braids back. And also make friends. There are always, there's always at least one girl, one girl that knows how to braid. Whether you gotta pay her in your, your, your candy that's in your MRE, whether you gotta give her some of your dessert from the defect, like from the shower hall, whatever. Do what you gotta do to make sure your hair stays okay and you don't gotta touch it and do anything to it every day. Like, us black women, we're lucky in that sense where we can get braids and they stay clean as long as we put a bandana or something on, we can get up and go the next day. It literally, we don't have to do anything but just put in a little ponytail, it takes less than 30 seconds. People that are not African American, they, they actually have to wet their hair, gel their hair, brush their hair, bun their hair, and like not have flyaways and stuff. I feel like that's so much more work because you gotta wake up mad earlier for that. Like I was able to wake up five minutes before it was time to go. Put on my clothes, brush my teeth, and boom, I was done. Like save yourself time. I know it sounds crazy right now, but y'all are gonna appreciate it and think and be like, yo, I'm so glad I listened to her when it comes to my hair because basic training, they're going to try you. And you don't wanna be that person that looks ate up, the person that they talk about, the person that just looks busted and not put together. Try not to stick out, make sure your hair is done, Make sure your hair is correct. Make sure you're not bringing stuff that you don't need to be bringing. And make sure you bring everything that you do need to bring. Like your paperwork, like I said. Um, but besides that, I think that's pretty much all I have as far as basic training. What to and to not bring. And what her styles y'all need to have. So, I hope this video was helpful. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys all once again for watching. Don't forget to like comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see y'all next time with the next Military Monday next week. Thank y'all. See y'all later. Peace.